The other great problem is you're going to launch something. The next great fear is, how does it stand out from the crowd? I mean, they make house calls. So I started thinking, like, I have to make house calls. It's time to get a car, because you cannot ride a mountain bike on a freeway. <laughs> and my great fear was, here I am about to drop out of college for the second time. This had better work. Are people going to think I'm a quitter? So I looked around. What do companies do? And I didn't like what I saw. Who, did they all go to some school that said, all right, you're going to have a company, here's what you got to do. You got to like put every freaking word on the side of it. <laughs> even though you'll be going by at 60 miles an hour. I'm like, what's the, what's the tube for? Oh, that's for your fishing pole. <laughs> now let's look at some billion dollar companies. Now we're getting somewhere. Talk about FedEx, what can we learn? I, I did learn one thing in um, art school. I remember the quote, uh, Picasso, good artists copy and great artists steal. Now, what did he mean by that? It means that when you're going to come up with a product, don't, the first place you should not look is in the healthcare industry. You should look everywhere else. That's innovation. Right? It's, it's, my kids hate copy. All kids hate copycats. Right? So everybody's trying to copy the iPad. Now, nobody's going to out Apple Apple. Best Buy is not going to out Apple Apple. Best Buy needs to out Best Buy Best Buy. We're our own biggest competition. But we can steal ideas from other businesses. I took the idea of flat rate pricing from Rapid Oil Change. You know, instead of charging an hourly, because I would always tell people it's all oh, like $25 or $50 an hour. And after three hours, I'd give them a bill. They're like, I thought you said it was $50. I'm like, no, it's $50 per hour. So then I just came up with a flat rate. And I'd fix it in 20 minutes. And they'd be like, is that it? I said, yeah. They're like, but it was only 20 minutes. I said, you're not paying me for my time. You're paying me for the thousand Saturday nights I stayed at home to learn this stuff. <laughs> now, FedEx. Look at, by the way, notice that FedEx, what did they used to be called? They tweeted their logo. They anticipated Twitter by like at least 10 years. And they even managed to stick an arrow into the logo. I only just saw that like a year ago. But UPS gives us the ultimate lesson. Remember when I talked about taking away? They just took away all language. They're just like, brown. <laughs> now, I, my friend Jeff here tells me a lot of lawyers work at United Healthcare Group. Now, I'm sure you're not in trademark law, but you can't trademark a color last time I checked. But they have. The trucks are brown. Packages are brown. Uniforms are brown. The commercials are now brown. It's genius. Again, the point of view. What do you stand for? What are you about? And using language. <laughs> now, this is a corporate car. <laughs> Notice, no phone number, no dot com on the side of the car. I'm Batman, all right? I'll find your ass when you're in trouble. <laughs> Put a phone number on my beautiful car, it'll ruin it. What's the point? The point is that if you want to innovate, you also, you know, my, my greatest fear was, okay, I have a great idea for a business model. I'm going to make house calls, and I'm going to do a few simple things, like show up on time. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to shower more than once a week. <laughs> and I'm going to fix it the first time properly, using processes and discipline, but also wrap it in a fun experience. It's computer support. It's a few steps up the food chain from plumbing. I'm not curing cancer here. Uh, I always tell Geek Squad agents, though, I say, listen, you're not going to cure cancer at Geek Squad, but you might fix a computer for someone at United Healthcare who will. <laughs> You're not going to solve world peace at Geek Squad, but you might recover a Word document for United Nations ambassador who has the solution to world peace on a Word document, but it's corrupt. They forgot to do autosave. <laughs> it's important to connect all of you emotionally to innovation. Are you doing innovation because they told you to? Because it was mandatory to come here today? You've got to find what what you want to innovate, what you believe in. And before I knew what I wanted to do when I grew up, and I'm still trying to figure that out, I knew I like Batman. And I want to be Batman. I want to drive around the city in a fun car, and I want to help people. 